Tiffany, this is to you and to you directly. I read your messages, right? Let me tell you what my problems are. First, I will not talk to you privately at this point. I, w I will not do that. Um, <clears throat> here's my problem. You've had 10 years. You've had 10 years. And the only things that I've seen you do are invalidate the students that were abused, disrespect the alumni that are past, and, and try to make yourself the good guy. It was also super frustrating to me that most of your messages were regarding your wife's channel. Okay, let me give you a little bit of history, where I come from, okay? I built this platform calling people out for their shitty behavior, okay? I think that's an important thing for you to notice, right? I am involved in several of those communities that you call hate groups. Now, with that being said, right, there are people that say terrible things about me, untrue things constantly, daily, okay? None of it's true, so you know what I do? I ignore it. I don't attack them. I don't give them uh, a second of my time because I know who I am as a person, right? I know that the things that they say about me are not true. Therefore, they deserve no space in my mind. Some of the best people that I've ever met on social media have come from hate groups, right? And I, I think that people that have been my topic of conversation would have some really mean things to say about me, right? That doesn't make them true. You know what I'm saying? I also do move with good intentions, right? Which is why I went to the people who have told me that you abused them and I asked what they wanted me to do because ultimately that's who matters. You also mentioned talking about it on her channel. That's where my problem comes from, right? Because the things that I've seen you say so far are not, you know, factual, valid, and quite honestly, pretty fucking disrespectful to students that have been to the school. Um, so what I'm gonna say, do the opposite. Do the opposite, right? Because every time I hear or see y'all say something about the school, I'm, I'm coming, right? So y'all can either leave it all the way out of the topic of your public conversations, um, or this is what we're gonna do, right? Because as far as I'm concerned, you had 10 years to report it more than that if you count the time you worked at the school right yeah that's more than enough time to right your wrongs correct so the timing of it is a little suspicious and just because there are some people around here that are new to me um i do not uh condone weaponizing children in any way shape or form um i don't think that cps is a valid rebuttal in an argument. Um, those are things that I will never, ever uh, condone and or cosign. Um, just want to make that clear, right? Now, I know that you think, Jimmy, that these people came to me and got me started. That That's not how this happened. Um, I did an interview and during that interview, your wife's channel came up and I went in there, I was polite to her. And, and Carolyn, I know that you said that you didn't block me, but I had other accounts to look, right? So even if you had comment filters on, which even if you did, there were other comments that were there seconds before I commented. So it's odd that those comments were able to go through, but not mine. But anyway, right? Anyway, I think that both of you need to know that I am not new at at this right but what i will not do is i will not attack your family i will not attack your jobs i will not do any of that i will simply correct the misinformation that you are or have put out regarding this school deal 
I think it's pretty simple, right? You can issue uh, an apology and take accountability, honestly, which would be, doesn't have to be wordy, 60 seconds will do, and then leave it off the platform from that point forward, right? Because we've already been abused for profit, and I'll be damned if I let that shit happen again.